Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and it is the return of Happily Ever After. I am so excited. Disney invited us out for a welcoming back dessert party with the special viewing area. So we're gonna watch some fireworks, ride some rides, eat some food, and enjoy the Magic Kingdom. Anywho's, let's go do this. I am so excited to see fireworks returning back to Walt Disney World. They're not only doing fireworks here, they're also doing fireworks at Epcot tonight. And I am so excited. It looks like there might be a little rain, so I brought my umbrella. But that's okay because the rain's not going to ruin my day. I am so pumped. Tonight is going to be such an amazing night. So many people are just so happy. I'm seeing it in everyone's faces. Like, the mood inside the Magic Kingdom tonight is like 100%. Like, I've never seen so many happy people here today. And look at this. The Happily Ever After Photo Pass photo opportunity has returned along with the Rainy Day Cavalcade. Hi, Snow White. This is amazing. And there's Cinderella. Ho, 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 ho. I love it. It has been over 400 days since the last time I was able to watch Happily Ever After. And I remember the exact moment when I heard the parks were closing down and that we were gonna be closed for two weeks, I think they said. And I was sitting inside the Crystal Palace and I was watching Happily Ever After from inside the restaurant. And yeah, I'll never forget it. And now here we are. We're gonna embark on a wonderful journey and I'm so excited. And now I think we're gonna go ride some rides. And I have a ride buddy with me today, Jackie, super enthused. I got you. Are you ready for Happily Ever After? Are you excited? I was just listening to the soundtrack on my phone crying. So this is gonna be... Yep, it's gonna be amazing. Is amazing is the word. <laughs> <laughs> I want to kind of take it nice and easy tonight and I'm definitely going to want to take part in rides that are outdoors because it's so beautiful out. So I think we're going to head right on over to Dumbo. Dumbo's the way to go. Jumbo! Dumbo Jumbo! <laughs> I also wouldn't mind maybe hitting up the People Mover a little bit later on. I always feel like that's a go-to ride of mine. It's important to do all the rides that are outdoors first, especially because we're probably going to get some rain a little bit later on. So Dumbo seems like the perfect idea. Step right up, step right up. Come one, come all. Welcome to the Storybook Circus entrance. Recently, they opened up the whole entire queue on the inside here. It's actually a very interactive queue and it's like a play place for kids. Now, I'm probably not gonna do it, but I'll show you it when we go in there. Here it is. Take a look, it's so pretty in here. And like I said, I'm not gonna actually go play around in there, but it's awesome that you can actually just play while you wait. Look at it, they actually give you a pager and let you know when it's your time to ride. It said it was only a 10 minute wait, but it looks like we're gonna walk right on. And look at those Dumbos go. I love Dumbo so much, look at this. Doesn't it just look so fun? And I always love the water. It looks like bubbles. Oh, here they come. I think we're going all the way up here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ready? Ready. <laughs> oh, yes. Woo! <laughs> Look at this! Isn't it so beautiful? You can see Cinderella Castle. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always feel like I'm like singing Mary Poppins in my head. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. Ooh, I like what they're doing. They're kind of like going down and up and going back and forth. I'm gonna try doing that. I wanna go up and down. How do I do that? I got my button down. Oh, we're going down. <laughs> there we go, easy, easy, that's the way. We got Jackie back there. Look at her. Have a great day, enjoy guys. Did you, did you like your, your flight on Dumbo? Yeah, right? <laughs> Here we go, I got it. It's a heavy door. Look at it, that's dangerous. <laughs> Honestly, I don't spend a lot of time down here in Storybook. 
So I think maybe we'll go over here to the Barnstormer and check on the goof. I mean, I'll see what the wait time is. This is one of those kid rides, but it lasts like 10 seconds. But I love it because I love Goofy. And you really can't go wrong with a performance from the great Goofini. The great Goofini. I love it. It actually makes me smile just saying it. The great Goofini. Another awesome thing is while you're in line for the Barnstormer, you get a good look at Tron. And I'm so excited for Tron. Like, this is going to be an amazing roller coaster. Look at this. It's going to be so beautiful at night, and I think it's going to fit in so well with Tomorrowland. The only question I like have is, where is the Walt Disney World Railroad going to go? Obviously, the tracks are gone here, so like, are they just going to put tracks in right here? Uh, like, wh where is it going to actually cut through? These are things I need to know. I think we're doing all the rides that have no weight. Like honestly, Dumbo, no wait, and we just walked right on the Barnstormer. So, you know, it's really nice to get two rides done back to back without rating. Oh, and here comes our plane for this evening. Ooh. <laughs> I like how it has the GG on there for the great Goofini. Here we go. <laughs> oh, we're going all the way up. <laughs> Look at this. It's so awesome. Hi. Hi. Oh boy, hang on. <laughs> it literally is like just like 25 seconds but it's so fun <laughs> i really love it it's definitely why you want to hang on to your hats folks look at that best remove them coming in hot now i think we're gonna move along leave storybook circus and maybe head back into Tomorrowland, see what Astro Orbiter or the People Mover is like. Seven Doors Mine Train, probably not so much. It seems like it's about a 65 minute wait. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna rain soon. The line is actually starting at Storybook Circus to get in for uh, Seven Doors Mine Train. 65 minutes. Rain. Yep, it's coming. I can feel the rain in the air, like you can feel the rise in humidity. Before we actually head on over to Tomorrowland, I think we're gonna duck inside to the Little Mermaid. Jackie actually came up with the idea because the rain is coming, so I think we might do an indoor ride. I do have to give Little Mer- Oh, and look it, it's Taylor. <laughs> As I was saying, I love the queue here in The Little Mermaid, and we joined up with our friends, Josh and Taylor, the little couple. It's like a happily ever after re uh, like reunion. It is! Yeah! <laughs> Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Thank you. We got ourselves a little clamshell with a bottle of water. <laughs> And then, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. The story began when Ariel. Lordy. That brings us lost sight of sin. 
Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> well, it looks like we're raining now, so we're gonna have to get the umbrellas ready. Not gonna bother me though. Happily ever after doesn't wait <laughs> oh yeah it is definitely a rainy day here but like I said it's not gonna ruin my day I will stand in front of the castle and watch happily ever after during a tsunami if I had to look at these brave souls that's what I'm talking about <laughs> I love it look at them they're going we need to seek shelter. <laughs> oh boy. It's really coming. Happily ever after. <laughs> it's all worth it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my lord. My ah! it's, it's out of control. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Earlier I made a reservation at Skipper Canteen because I knew it was going to rain today and guess what? It is now time for our reservation. Isn't that convenient? Perfect timing, right? Looks like we got lucky and we're going to be in the sea room and we have the butterfly table. Look at how cool this is. I love being able to dine in here. It's a nice little booth and it's a very sociable table. Now, because we are going to be going to a dessert party, we're not going to be getting any desserts and we don't want to fill up much. So we'll probably get some drinks, coffee, and maybe an appetizer or two. But mainly we're just going to try to seek shelter during the rainstorm. And we're just lucky that we made this reservation before the rain happened. Like we were thinking about it and we were like, yeah, we should go eat there. And then the rain happened and now we're like, thank God we did it. And of course, when we're at Skipper's Canteen, might as well grab a beer. I did not get the Kungaloosh, which I probably will get after this, but this time I just stuck with the usual. Jackie got the Tusker Lager. I love Tusker, it's delicious. Ah, so cheers. cheers. Happily ever after. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, much too good. And to go with our beers, we got some port setai, and it's like little port skewers. Look at that, really fancy. Now this isn't on the menu, it's something they're just testing at the moment, but I think I'm gonna like it. It comes with some kind of glaze on there, and I don't know, seems fancy. Go ahead and grab a hold here. There we go, we each got our little skewer. It smells good, the glaze smells really sweet, Yeah, it's right? a soy demi-glaze. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're diving in. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Jackie's glazing it up there. I'm glazing it a little extra. <laughs> yeah, get a little glazy. I'm going to get a little glazy too. Yeah. <laughs> I really do like the skewers. They're very good. I'm not too big of a fan of the sauce though. I mean, I could probably like go without it, but it's still a fun appetizer. And like I said, it's not even on the menu. It's a special secret appetizer. And uh, now I switched up to the Kungaloosh. So Kungaloosh. This Kungaloosh beer is made exclusively for Walt Disney World. And what's it for? The Society of Explorers? And Adventurers. And Adventurers. Yeah. So, Kungaloosh was their kind of greeting, right? Yeah. So Kungaloosh. 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 Happily ever after. Yes. <laughs> the best part about dining inside Skipper Canteen is all the amazing interactions with the cast members. Like they were so funny. So <laughs> our, our skipper came over and asked what the difference between a hippo and a zippo was. And uh, of course, I don't know, I didn't know what the answer was. And they were like, well, a hippo is very heavier, but the zippos are a little bit lighter. Lighter, do you get it? Now we've got ourselves some coffee. So basically, we just had some appetizers, some beers, and now we're at some coffees. I would have gotten a dessert, but like I said, we're going to a dessert party. So I'm excited. And I got an iced latte, and Jackie got a cappuccino. Look at it, it's like a fancy mug, too. Yeah, so, mm, yeah, it's really 
yummy. So, is it good? Tiny spoon. Oh, very good, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So now we're gonna actually finish these up and make our way over to the dessert party. It's still a little bit of a drizzle, but we're gonna use the umbrella. Might as well, I don't wanna be completely soaking wet. And we're gonna head on over to the Tomorrowland Terrace and get ready for our dessert party. The fireworks aren't set to go off for another two hours, but I'm excited to see how many people are probably sitting in the hub waiting to get a good spot. Wow, look at all these people. Even the rain isn't going to keep them back. I mean, this is happily ever after. I am so excited for this. And a lot of people are excited as well. There she is. Cinderella Castle. This is going to be amazing. I am so excited. I'm actually starting to get really excited already. Two hours until firework time. And look at people are just lining up. They're ready. I am so excited to see so many people excited for Happily Ever After. I mean, like I said, this is something I feel like it's 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 like I, it's like this is it. Like the world is getting back to normal. Fireworks are back, and it's just amazing. I'm so happy to be here. People are lined up all the way down Main Street, USA. And like I said, I think uh, I said before it's two hours, so it's about an hour and thirty minutes, maybe an hour and forty minutes. But wow, look at this. Now we're gonna head on over, like I said, and go to the Tomorrowland Terrace and get ready for our dessert party. I'm super pumped for this. We got ourselves our official lanyard. Look to the skies, happily ever after at Magic Kingdom Park, July 1st, 2021 media event. I am so happy. Like I'm actually kind of emotional at this moment. But I'm just so blessed to be able to be here and show you guys and just experience it. So thank you. Thank you, Disney, so much. Here is a look at everything they have to offer. So it's not only a dessert party because it looks like we have a nice little charcuterie right here with some meats and cheeses. And then we got some grilled vegetables. That looks amazing. Holy moly. And then we got different crackers. Ooh, Mickey macaroons, fireworks with a castle. Oh, fireworks at the castle, brownie bites. And then of course, these little babies, the happily ever after strawberries. I love these. And these are a part of the regular dessert party. So I was very excited to see they have those. But how about churros? And this is in a warmer. So we're gonna be able to snack on some churros with some chocolate sauce and just enjoy. And then over here to drink, we got the happily ever after sparkle pomegranate apple cider. So we'll definitely get one of those in a fancy glass. Oh, I missed. First things first, we gotta try the happily ever after strawberry. I'm sorry it might be a little bit noisy in here, but it is a full house and everybody's so excited. So here we go, happily ever after. Now we're gonna dive in to the little Mickey Macron. Look at how fancy and cute this is. And I think it's like a raspberry filling in the center there. Oh, I don't want to I don't want to ruin it. It's so pretty you ever have something that looks so amazing You kind of don't want to like destroy it, but of course if it is Mickey shaped you always go ears first <laughs> oh, did you get it? And now I'm gonna dive in to the castle brownie. Oh, these are soft very soft I feel like I should have took the castle off first, but we're gonna try to bite into this all the way here <laughs> Everything is so amazing and now it's churro time churro time. I say It's funny because it's still a little bit warm <laughs> Before we head out one last surprise we got a happily ever after cupcake to take with us How cool is that so I'm gonna take my sparkling cider and my cupcake and we're gonna head on out to the garden and get our spot and get ready for happily ever after i am so excited look at this guys oh boy the crowds are ready rainy day out but look at oh boy 
the Marvel team will invite you to enjoy our nighttime spectacular, Happily Ever After, presented by Pandora TV. Now we are in our spot. We are in the grass area or the garden area, and hopefully we're gonna get a good shot. Everybody is just holding up spots, and it's amazing to see everybody coming out for Happily Ever After. I'm like super pumped about it, even though like it's in the rain. Like how many times have we left the Magic Kingdom prior when it was raining and we're like, we're not gonna wait. Ooh, they're turning the music on. I am definitely gonna cry. You're gonna cry? I guarantee it. Oh. Because like, I guarantee your satisfaction. There you go. Panda, are you going to cry? Uh, if Tinkerbell comes out, I'm going to cry. You're going to cry? Oh. I'm not win related, so I'm hopeful. Oh. Yeah, no, I will. We need Tink. Bring on Tink, right? I'm going to cry. I'm already crying. Or. <laughs> Any second now, guys. I am so excited. the greatest thing ever. I am so excited and so happy to be here. <laughs>
never had a friend, eh? Never had a friend, never had a friend. You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> Had a friend like me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. I'm so scared up crying and it's just, it was amazing. My camera probably got soaking wet with the whole entire thing. So I know I probably didn't have the greatest footage out there, but I didn't want to hold the umbrella so that it would block other people's views. So I used my hat in my hand to cover my camera. But I'm just so happy that I was able to experience this with friends too, right? Like it was a big group of people here. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> and it was just great, you know what I mean? And there's so many people here and everyone was excited for it. It was great. I, I couldn't ask for a better way to actually bring back Happily Ever After than this experience right here tonight. And now it looks like everybody is clearing out a wet Happily Ever After is better than a no Happily Ever After. Hi guys, hi friends. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I think that is gonna do it for me today. What an amazing night, I have to say. I'm so happy Happily Ever After is back, and I can't wait to come back and do it. It's gonna be every night now. I mean, <laughs> I'm hoping to come back out when it's maybe uh, not as rainy, but I enjoyed this experience very much. Like I said, I feel like it downpouring and just getting soaking wet and just letting all of your emotions just fly out. It just made everything so much better. I can't even see you guys right now. My glasses are so fogged up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.